Hi, this is Shadi and today we're gonna go back, try and find out the origins of the Berimbolo, the uh, playful scramble, the spins, uh, something that's very uh, aesthetically pleasing to watch, very entertaining to watch, like I said. And for those of you who don't know, Berimbolo is a spin usually done from the Della Riva guard in order to get to the back. So you can either uh, roll on your shoulder, spin, you get two scenarios. The first one being the sweep or the helicopters as the Brazilians call it, or you get to the back, which is the Berimbolo. It was made famous by people like Mendez brothers, Miao brothers, Samuel Braga, but where did it really uh, shine or where did it really start where does its roots lie and why does it have such a strong ties with the della riva guard so for those of you who don't know the della riva guard uh, it was made uh, famous again by a man called ricardo della riva when he was in the Carlson gracie academy and he used this old judo guard in order to let not let them pass because they were such good guard passers at first it was called Garda Pudima or Pudding Guard because whenever he would hook his uh, De La Riva hooks their legs wobbled like pudding and they first called it the Pudding Guard so after that it took on his name the De La Riva Guard and he used it to uh, keep people like Hoyle Gracie which is one of the most accomplished Jiu Jitsu champions he kept him at bay using this particular uh, guard and that's why you have such an efficiency to it. So why does it have such strong ties with the Berimbolo? The story goes that in the 1990s, particularly 1993, uh, people, the uh, general narrative goes that it was invented by Marcel Ferreira, uh, a purple belt at the Carlson Gracie Academy, so the same academy as Ricardo. That's why it is uh, strongly tied with the De La Riva guard and his training partner Eduardo was constantly passing his guard, the De La Riva guard. So he had to get creative and then he would spin around the hooks in either to get a sweep or the back take. And that's how uh, people say that the Berimbolo was born. Uh, and he used it first seen in the 1996 World Championship. Uh, but then it stayed a bit dormant and then had its comeback during the mid 2000s. For example, uh, it was the 2005 Samuel Braga used it during the Mondial. He started it from the La Riva guard and got to the back. So, uh, and then it was it was still a little bit on the down low, but people like the Mendez brothers really started to craft it and really use it relentlessly, winning tournaments, and they basically just made it very famous and very mainstream. Later on, you have the Miao brothers. Uh, really going for it and making it very famous uh, adding to its notoriety you have also but problems arose like the knee reaping and people started to get disqualified etc so to avoid the uh, disqualifications uh, Berimbolo users uh, stopped using the underhooks on the shin making the position less effective but nonetheless uh, pretty much legal so uh, Andre Gal the term berimbolo was ter coined by Andre Galvao, meaning scramble uh, from the verb berimbolar in Portuguese. Uh, he said in an interview, uh, the berimbolo didn't uh, start in the 90s or wasn't created in the 90s. Marcel did the helicopter or the sweep, but it is very different. The berimbolo starts when the opponent put his butt on the mat, like in a double guard pool position. I think the Berimbolo only started a few years back." Unquote. He goes on to say, The Berimbolo doesn't have a father. It is an impoverished child born without a dad. Now the kid became rich and famous and everyone wants to assume paternity. So, uh, in Andre Galvao's opinion, the Berimbolo uh, doesn't have clear roots or where does it come from is unknown. But, uh, Upon a little bit of research, I tend to disagree. I know Andre is a uh, top tier Jiu Jitsu fighter, a world champion, accomplished, etc. But in my opinion, uh, the Berimbolo does have clear origins. 
So here you can see Mitsuro Kimura doing a scramble, getting to the back eventually. People might call it, this is the truck, uh, this is not Berimbolo, but the Berimbolo can be done from almost any position. You go to this video, it's called Judo Berimbolo. You see people in the comments, this is not Berimbolo, this is more like truck, etc. But uh, someone left links saying this is exactly the Berimbolo you see in BJJ and it can be done from all positions and I myself agree. If you want to play semantics, spinning uh, with entanglement, getting to the back, these are the bearing bolo criterias and here you can have it. So a truck is more like a half guard roll into the back, but I might be wrong, but here you can see the spin uh, getting to the back or even sweeping for Osai Komi. He shows you, for example, you have this option of getting to the back and also getting into Osai Komi or pin. So uh, here we can see clear judo ancestry of the Berimbolo demonstrated by Mitsuro Kimura. Now Mitsuro Kimura was born uh, in 1916 and passed away in 2008. So I would argue this is far older than the 1990s. Uh, if he was still able, he looks a little bit old, so I would say this is around the uh, 60s or maybe even early 70s max. Uh, this, uh, the, like, but here you can see the uh, judo uh, taste of it because judokas, if you don't know, they would really love to prefer the top position and also the Osai Komi. So here you get to the back and also you can get to the Osai Komi. I know in BJJ, back is king. Uh, but in Judo, the Holy Trinity is the throws and the Osai Komi and the Gi Chokes. But in BJJ, it is the guard and top position and the back, in my opinion. So uh, here you can see the Judo breath or the Judo taste spirit in the Berimbolo with the origins here done by Mitsuru Kimura. Now, did he come up with it? I don't know, but we can see that uh, he didn't uh, record it. Uh, the moment he invented it or the moment it was invented I'm sure it existed long before that but here it was just being documented for tutorials instructions and also archiving techniques so here you can see Reinhardt BJJ black belt showing how to do bearing bolo from mount very similar to uh, what uh, Mitsuro Kimura was doing here is another example in competition like I said we go to the video judo bearing bolo people arguing uh, but someone uh, who is a legend left these links showing that these are exactly the bearing bolo you see in BJJ till this day from top position. So the bearing bolo can be done from almost any position, side, top, or uh, on from the guard. But like I said, uh, the strong ties with the Della Riva guard it's because from the uh, Carlson Gracie Academy where the Della Riva had its resurgence once again. Uh, due to Ricardo de la Riva and you have also Marcel Ferreira uh, adding his spin uh, in order to get to the back but Andre Galvao claims that he only swept he didn't take the back so it does have its origins in judo it's crafted by uh, Mendez brothers the Miao brothers Samuel Braga yes a lot of people added their little twist to it uh, with the rules so on and so forth but the clear uh, uncut origins of it, it the evidence staring you right in the eye it's uh, judo especially from top position you can see uh, the preference for the Osai Komi from the Berimbolo and also you can take the back so Mitsuro Kimura was showing you you can either take the back or you can go to Osai Komi which really shows the judo spirit in all of this so uh, if you have anything else to add or uh, maybe theorize a little bit of added information, you can always share it down below. Uh, I'll leave links or articles from BJJ Heroes and others where you can read about Andre Galvao and uh, the Berimbolo origins, but uh, you can clearly see the origins clearly stem from Japan. Now, I know BJJ have a preference for the guard far more than judokas because judokas the moment they catch the guard, they're gonna just immediately sweep and go to the Osai Komi because the pin is very much valid in Judo and 
a pin can make you lose everything you have in the match there's no points there's no uh, crafting a position you have to act quickly it really shows the difference between the two BJJ and judo so uh, like I said if you have anything else to add let me know down below this was Shadi and thank you for listening